Hello everybody, welcome back to build your first step on Monad guide series second video. We will look at Skypevolt ATH2 more closely in this video. Skypevolt ATH2 is the advanced development framework designed to streamline the process of building, testing and deploying Ethereum-based dApps. Basic structure of Skypevolt ATH2. There are two sites for this framework. Backend sites for smart contracts, hard head environment, and contract interactions. And this site is a little bit complex and advanced for now. Let's move on with the frontend site. We will look at it more closely in this video. We need to focus on Next.js framework. Okay, this is frontend directory structure. We will start with app folder and subfolders. There are two K files for us in this video. One of them is the page TCX and header TCX. TCX file extension meaning is they are a TypeScript file. If you know nothing about TypeScripts, you should start with TypeScript basics. This is layout of scaffold ATH2. This is page. And they, these are header and footer, as you can see. We have a three tasks. Task one, we will change the logo. We will change the title of our DAP. We will write a welcome text onto page TCX. And these are your assignments. Assignment one and assignment two. And how to send your assignments? Send your GitHub repo link to general channel in Monad developer Discord server with tagging me. This is my Discord handle. Okay, I opened up my my DAP repository. I'm going to here code space and click three dots open in browser. A few moments later. Okay, my code space has opened and but I can't see my terminal. To do open to open terminal, go to weave and terminal. Okay, everything is okay now. And um, I want to start my project. A few moments later. Okay, my front end and user interface has opened and header takes TSX. Look, it's a logo and the title here. Let's change our title. Uh, my the app. On on not. And we can write here. Gmod. Save it. I'm using Control plus S buttons to save it. Okay, when I save it, it's updated automatically here. As you can see, my depth on Monad, Gmonad. Okay, I want to change logo also. To do that, I need a logo for sure. Okay. To find a logo, I came here and there is a, a page for the logo and the other things. As you can see, look here, branding and media kit, click it. Brand guidelines, okay, okay, we need a logo, the one primary logos. Yeah, the logos anyway. Download logos in white. Uh, 
Okay, that long and that long. Okay, let's turn back our code space. Okay, I want to change the logo, which is here. And the logo is uh, logo.cvg file under the uh, public file, logo cvg. Okay, I want to add my, hello, add my um, Monad logo. To do that, right click and upload. And download, okay, I want to use white one okay i added my monad logo as png i want to rename it monad logo okay i want to change it i need to change it also in header tcx monad logo G control plus c It's up. It's getting update. Yes, it's it's getting update. Yes, it's okay now. Uh, it cannot find the file because it's not CVG. It's a PNG. Okay. Okay, we put the logo here. Okay, now we will write some uh, welcome text on the page.tcx. To do that, we need to go to page tcx and uh, as you can see, welcome to Skyfold ATH2, like here. Okay, let's change it. Welcome to my e app or not. And let's put more text. Control and paste. Or you can do that with Control plus D. Control plus D to duplicate it. If it don't work for you in your computer, you can go to here. Preference, keyboard shortcuts, and you can try here, here duplicate, duplicate selection, okay, bindings, you click it or click here and press the buttons, control and then the buttons, and it will be set. Okay. Let's move on with the second uh, subtitle, G Monad. Let's save it. Let's check it our new uh, welcome text and page TCX, G Monad. It, it, it is a, it's a little bit big. Let's make it one pixel and not bold. Okay, uh, let's put some Okay, and Okay, I don't want to see the address for now And I don't want to see these things I'm deleting with the uh, control plus X when I click the control plus X it's completely delete actually it's cut the all lines and it is a more easy way to delete all uh, line okay Okay. 
is getting updated okay maybe we can change a little bit uh, router we don't want to fork me anymore uh, that is okay and build with uh, Articon build with net power and, uh, and we don't want to support button let's check it yes it's look okay looks okay okay uh, we done our all tasks task one was uh, change the title we change we has changed our titles with um, my dad or monad we have changed our logo task three was uh, put a welcome text on the page that t6 and we have put some welcome text here Take care and see you in the next video.